Fellas, there are a lot of things that you can invest in, but there's one very important investment that you should make right away. I'm just joking. I'll tell you why I'm pointing to my keys, though. Actually, you really do want to get you a key. Check out this other video I'm going to upload. But for this video, I'm going to share with you some lessons that I learned from investing in the market. And it wasn't all good. And I'm going to give the script to AI, let them use my voice along with other voices, and we'll watch it together. I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of editing, but I am going to punch in a few of the trades that's mentioned during the video. So stay tuned. And I'm going to share with you the number one investment that I'm making in the rest of the year. I'm not going hard again unless there is a huge drop in the market. That's what I see now. And I'll tell you what that is at the end of the As day. a trucker, I always say that saving your hard earned money is as crucial as making sure your rigs wheels keep turning. But let me tell you, investing that money, make sure you're headed in the right direction. So let me sh share uh, some lessons from our own ride on the stock market highway, full of potholes, detours, and the occasional smooth stretch. Watch the patterns. Just like knowing when rush hour hits in every major city, the market has its own rhythms. The market might zoom out of the gate like you on a fresh cup of coffee at 9.30 a.m., then slow down by 10.30, only to pick back up by 11.30. It's not always perfect, but paying attention can save you from an unexpected breakdown, and it might not get back up to opening. It could drop back down lower than the 1030 dip. It all depends on the reason for the volatility. Also, if it closed red the day before due to trivial news, it might very well go higher than the opening high. So what happens after 1130 varies a lot, but that dip after a strong open is common. Trade, like you drop, carefully, they say you can't time the market just like you can't always predict where that next speed trap will be. But if the market's been cruising in one direction for a while, that might be your sign to pay close attention. The longer you go without seeing bear, the more probably it is there's one ahead. Law, well, you could use technical analysis, but we won't go into that right now. People tend to do the opposite. Market's going up, 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 and they buy, buy, buy. It can't keep going in one direction. It's got to correct. Patience is your best co-pilot. When you believe in a stock, don't be quick to jump ship just because it hits a few bumps. I've missed out on some big returns by bailing too early, like taking a load for $2 a mile knowing I'm in a good area and that they should pay more, only to peek back at the load board later that day to see loads for 3 and 350 per mile to a better destination. So as I'm watching this, I don't know if I got carried away with the analogies or not. Y'all let me know. I tried to put in some analogies so it would be more entertaining. Let Those me know what you think. For three and three fifty per mile to a better destination. Sometimes the best move is to sit tight and find something else to do while you wait. If you find fuel that cheap, you might fill all you can in your tank. You plan on it. Run it low to get there. Well, when I have strong conviction on a trade, usually options, but not always, I buy more than I want to hold. As soon as it is up, I sell most and hold on to the rest for it to continue to appreciate in value. Because when are you going to find that price again? You don't know. If it's a good deal, load up. Try to pass the two trucks behind you and you too. They don't know when to hit the brakes. Take profits when you're up, especially when you're hedging. A 10% win is better than waiting for it to go to 50% and instead it goes negative 70% like this trade did on me. The road looked wide open from my viewpoint. I was up and said no way it can keep rallying. I'm going to short the QQQ. Well, here I am. Around the curve came a bull run I didn't expect so soon. Down about $6,500. Congrats if you were the one buying. In my defense, even though I felt we were due for a correction and I still do by election, I felt forward was solid enough to withstand and maybe that it was so cheap it might not even go in the red during a correction. Definitely it won't get put out of service. Plus it pays a nice dividend that likely will continue. So I did get in at $9.98 while everyone was selling. 
I didn't time the bottom, but close enough to stay out of the ditch for now. Now, if you're curious about how my latest hedges turn out, stay tuned. I'd say wish me luck, but that would mean someone else lost money. And we all know what that feels like. Just remember, investing is like trucking. Sometimes you're cruising and sometimes you're crawling through traffic. But keep your eyes on the road and you'll get to your destination. And hey, keep an eye on those solid companies, especially with all the election noise coming up. If the market takes a detour, you'll want to be holding onto stocks that won't stall out in the middle of the highway. But if you miss the dip, you might miss the ride up. Because for those AI-powered tech companies, the prices might be as low as the price of diesel fuel on Interstate 20 east of Dallas, Texas. But they'll rise quicker than the price of a barrel of oil during a cold winter. That's Hervey's story, folks. Not financial advice, just one trucker's tale from the investment road. Sharing my experiences and lessons so that you might keep it between the lines and prosper. Keep your wheels turning and your investments earning. So you're going to see an example of a video going down. I wouldn't buy it where it was at because I figured it would come down. It did come down and I bought it on the way down. And then it kept going down. And then because of what was going on, the war has, the fighting has started. They tripping in politics. I'm like, okay, yeah, we got a lot of volatility to go. I'll catch it again before it runs. So I sold it. I bought it at 98. I bought it at 99. I sold it at, it went, it kept going down. All right, I bought it at 99. I bought it at 98. It kept going down. So I said, all right, when it got to 102, uh, it was a kind of shaky day, it seemed. What happened is we got good news that day. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll drop it. I'll get it when it drops back down. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That was it. Pew! To the moon. Missed it. And that's why I said just be patient. If I would have just held it, I also sold Meta. $500. I had was in at $498. And it had dropped down to $460, $470 plenty of times. But this time, I was like, all right, there's a lot going on. Uh, it was on the way down again. I was like, all right, I'm going to sell it right here at 5 It went down to like $170. I didn't buy it. It jumped back up. And that was it. I missed it. So I bought for it. Ha! <laughs> but you guys remember the number one investment that you can make is on yourself. If you have a passion or a skill that you feel like you can use to benefit other people or a passion and a skill and you see problems that exist in that area and you know the solution, consider investing money in you creating a pathway to bring that solution forward to other people number one investment you can make and you have much 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 more control over it i really wish i had invested in myself years ago and you know when i look back on it i remember my girl came to me i remember my girl came to me and said you can stop driving if you wanted to stop driving she had found a website which was basically a resume site that I had made and it listed, obviously it's a resume site. So it listed a lot of the different jobs and things, not work jobs that I worked at, but projects that I worked on. And uh, she sent me a link to the site and I was like, okay, wow, cool. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, you've been researching me. So great, found a website, okay. And I just left it like that, but because I didn't know what it meant. She sent me the link. Like, I found the site. I'm like, okay, cool. She goes, you can stop driving if you want to. And this really was true. Because that's all I've been doing is riding up and down the road. Learning, 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 learning. And I can apply a lot of the stuff that I learned and go in many different directions. But that's another long whole story. My point is invest in something. And a very good investment is always, not always, but a lot of times a very good investment could be in yourself. All right, y'all, let's go. Forgot to tell you that that investment includes me 
retiring in July, but also taking 20 of you guys with me. So if you made it to the end of the video, you're my type of people. Go ahead and apply in the link in the description. Apply to be one of the 20. And well, let's go on this journey together.